Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to talk about broken winch lines. Yep, I did it. So it doesn't matter how long you've been into four wheeling, whether it's two days or 20 years, you're eventually gonna run into one of these. It's not the first one I broke, it's probably not the last one. This is the first one I broke, not on the trail though. I'll explain that in a minute. So today I wanna to show you how to repair it at home. This isn't a trail fix, this is what you're going to do at home. So there's a couple different ways to do it. The first way is to replace it. You can stay with the standard quarter inch steel cable that everyone seems to hate because you get this gnarly end right here and it you know pokes you and whatnot. Or you can go down and for about 35 bucks get you a synthetic winch line with a Haas fair lead. That's not what we're gonna do today. Today, I'm gonna fix this. And I'm gonna do it the right way. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's really simple. And the reason I'm gonna fix this is, there's nothing wrong with this line. I've only used it two or three times. Um, it broke, obviously, but not like you may think. So let's, let's go over that real quick. In one of my previous videos, I went over a dual battery setup and how none of my switches worked without the battery, or the, the key being on. I disconnected that second battery. Well, I was coming home the other day, picked my kids up from school, and my five-year-old leaned against the winch panel right when we got home. He had unbuckled, and I hadn't turned the, the uh, Pioneer off. And I heard something, by the time I heard it, he had actually retracted the winch and broke it. So this connector, right here Let's see if you can see that this connector he ripped in half nice little damage there he also ruined my KFI winch stop uh, you see uh, the Kong dog toys I had this laying around so today I'm gonna fix it not everyone is gonna have one of these tools. They look like bolt cutters, but they're not. This is a cheaper set that I had gotten a few years back. I've only used it a few times. You can get these, I forget the name of them, for 30 cents a piece, 50 cents a piece. These are the aluminum ones. They make stainless steel and copper. And then your eyelet. They help make your eyelet. So this is about 20 cents a piece. So, in parts, not tools, just parts alone, I have about a dollar's worth of parts to fix this. It's a lot cheaper than the $30 for the synthetic winch line. I will put the synthetic winch line on one day, but I still got a lot of good uses left on this. And being out here in Arizona, one thing you have to worry about with the synthetic winch line is the UV. I know it's protected, it's hidden, it's not sitting in direct sun, I parked this under cover, but still, I'm gonna get my money's worth out of this before I switch over to this. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've moved the Honda into the shade so you can see better. We're gonna set this aside. So if you look at these, it has different sizes for different size wires in these crimping pieces. So I'm gonna use the quarter inch right there. When you crimp it, this is what it's gonna look like. I wanna do three of these crimps per each one. And what I'm gonna do, if you look on here, this stock one is a little bit longer than this one. So I'm actually gonna put two of these on here just kind of as overkill for reason one. And reason two is when I cut this with my bolt cutters, it's a little frayed. So I wanna kinda cover that frayed end up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try to smash this down.
Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I wrapped some black tape around here just to keep it nice and round. I got my stopper. So next thing is I'm gonna put two of these on. Uh, that push of my tape out of the way it looks like. And that's fine. There's not much room in these. Just make sure get all the strands in there. So I'm gonna go down here where there's a natural, there's already a bend in the wire to put the eyelet. Okay, so see, slide freely. Because the line has this kink in it where I'm gonna put the eyelet, it took me an extra second. So, to put the eyelet on, it's about the hardest part after cutting the wire. So what I like to do is take pair of needle nose tan locks. Get it in there. And pinch it down. So that when I go back over it, it kind of holds it. I'll use a second pair. Just hold it there. I'm not worried about the bottom. So now it's got a it's a little bit more difficult going back up it. Feed it through again. Okay. So it took me a second I had to get some gloves because I don't want to cut myself on this. So I have my eyelet here with the cable wrapped around it in this piece took my chain locks and went ahead and locked it here. So now I can put them in my crimper. I'm gonna do three crimps. Then I'm gonna come back, put the second one on. So as you can see, I'm putting it right in a quarter inch one, right up on, just about on the edge, and I'm gonna just crimp it. And it'll take a little bit of muscle, it's just a little muscle. And now that I have the first crimp in, I'll take the chain locks off and I'll put a second and a third. So there we go. So let's give me, go ahead and feed that second one up. So now it's almost flush. It's a little bit farther. You're just starting to get the end to come out. Now I've had people tell me one is enough Two is overkill. If I'm going to do two, make sure they butt up against each other. I don't have my cutters here. I loaned them out, my bolt cutters, to cut this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crimp this right here. And it's just for good measure. The last part is just putting a hook on. So there's no reason you can't fix your own winch line with the right tools. This is a 55 foot winch cable. I lost about a foot overall. Remember you gotta leave at least one wrap on the drums. So this is as good as new. This winch line should last me at least one or two more seasons. Then I will put the synthetic winch line on. Fixing your winch line is extremely easy, especially if you have the right tools or you can pay somebody. A new winch line it's 30 to 35 dollars for the synthetic a little bit cheaper for this braided steel i chose to fix it because i had the tools i fixed mine for under a dollar and i think i made the end stronger let me know in the comments what you would do would you just replace it or would you would you fix it i can throw my synthetic winch line in the toolkit replace it on the trail in 20 minutes until next time 
If you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.